Hi guys and welcome back to Ray Ray Hunting. Um, first of all, I would like to say some thank yous to um, all the members down at Camelot's. We got hit by Storm Babbitt a couple of weeks ago and as you can see, the range was flooded, we was all underwater. Um, we could have actually set a fishing pond up or we're thinking about getting 30 carp and chucking them in it one bit. But there we go, it's dried out now. Um, I'd just like to thank all the members again for all the messages of support and help that they gave us and want to help out and stuff that's really much appreciated you don't know how much we all appreciate that down at the club so thank you guys um everything has dried out now so it is all reusable again um hopefully we're not going to get that much water for quite a while um so you know we're, we're hoping that everything's going to be be okay for, for a while now we're going to put some things in in and around the club to try and um, obviously stop it from happening again and getting as bad but there we go that's that done right on to this video i'm going to be doing um another pellet review and we're going to be using three different rifles for this review we're going to be using the wolverine again and that's got a um, wolf for barrel on we're going to be using the bsa r10 which is bsa user own barrels called hammer forge barrels and we're also going to be using hw 110 which wirac make their own barrels as well so we've got three different barrels there and we're going to be testing these um, pellets between 30 yards for the group and 50 yards for the group now it is kind of windy today as you can see from the wind sock over there but we're going to give it a go so i'm going to aim dead bull every time and see what kind of groups we get at both um both yardages so the pellets we're going to be using they are quite a no well-known pellet at the minute and um, they've been out for quite a while i use them for hunting and both my um FT shooting through my Ripley rifle, my um, AR5S, um, and they are the QIS. So I tend to use the streamline ones, which are these ones. So we're going to test the streamline ones at 30 yard, and then we're going to do the domed at 30 yard as well, and do a bit of a bit of a spin off of them both, the streamline versus the domed, and see which ones we get the best grouping waves at 30 and 50 using all three different barrels. Right, so the first ones we're going to do is the QIS dome pellets. Um, these are 8.48 grains, um, very clean pellets. I've used these for quite a while now. They are very clean pellets. So the thing, good thing about QIS, I've really, you don't find many damaged pellets when you open a tin up, which is good in my eyes. Um, normally, when you do open other brands up, you do find some of the some of the skirts are, are damaged, and you just end up chucking them around the floor or not using them at all, and it can get a bit annoying at times. Right, I'm going to have uh, five shots with the HW110 at 30 yards using the domes. Now, let's see how we get on. So, bit of a random group, but it did group up. Um, I'll show you when we've done the other two, uh, use the other two rifles and we'll bring them all in and have a look. So now we're gonna try the BSA R10 at 30 yards using the QYS downed. Oh, 
also back through it as well. That's nice. So now we're going to try the Wolverine QIS at 30 yards and see how we get on with this. So we're going to try the QS domes now, now at 50 yards um, using the HW110. Um, I've just done a practice shot and so it's going to be two mil dots down and one and a half mil dots across to allow for the wind. I'm going to go for the grouping again, um, like I said, I'm going to aim, hopefully that's near enough dead centre. If not, it doesn't matter, we'll just obviously aim at the same point every time and let's see how we get on at 50 yards. Not too bad, but not the greatest, but like I said, it is at 50 yards and it is quite windy today. So um, let's get the BSA R10 and see how that gets on. Right, so now let's give the R10 a go out at 50 yards using the QAS domed. Um, five shots, let's see how we get on the grouping. I'm going to give it two mil lots and one and a half across again. So that grouping was pretty much the same as the HW, I'm not going to lie, um, it's not very tight but I'm presuming if you look at the windsock over there it is quite windy out at 50 yards, um, but we'll see how the Wolverine gets on and we'll take it from there. Right, so we'll try it 50 yards with um, the Wolverine now, five shots, let's see how we get on with this. good already unless it's me. I think that's the best grouping out of all of them to be fair.
So that's the Wolverine at 30 yards using the QIS domed in the 8.48 grain. I'm quite happy at that, that's a thumbnail. And then if we go down to the 50s, so I was aiming two mil lots down and one across to allow for the wind and obviously it went up there. Um, but that's still still not a bad group at 50 yards to say it really windy today. Um, as you can see from the windsock in the previous um, previous clip there. So this is the BSA at 30. Right again, it's not too bad. And then the BSA at 50. Now, I don't know what they are, but them and me, uh, and me five shots. So I've got two total flyers and three in a little bit of a group. If there's another two would have been inside there, I'd have been very happy at that. Um, like I said, it is a bit windy today, so I, I could try it again at 50 yards with the BSA. In fact, I'm going to do that again with the BSA using them and see how we get on at one point. That's so not bad. The HW at 30. Mm, it's not too bad. We've got three in a group there and two there. And then the HW at 50. Now, I did take six shots at that, so I tried to get it a bit better. I think that was my first shot down here. But then they, they did that, so yeah. The, um, the HW barrel, I can't say of likes, overly likes these. It might be different again, like I said, on a less windy day, but yeah, not look great. So after that um, little pellet test using the QIS is domed, um, I think the Wolverine is the out and out winner with them groups. Um, especially we've been, like I said, a windy day as well. I was going to test the stream eyes today, but I'm going to leave that for until next week when we get a bit of a less windy day. But definitely the winner. Tell me what you think, guys. Um, or if you guys obviously got different rifles and you want to tell me what kind of groupings you get with them out at 30 and 50 yards, that'd be great. Thank you to um, Richard at More Edges once again. Um, he gave me these to try out. I've had these for quite a while now. I've been testing through different rifles. Um, I've only just recently got the Wolverine. That's why I've started to use it. Now, I don't know if anyone agrees with me, but some people do actually say that if you've got a longer barrel, it is a bit accurate out at further distances, maybe. Um, obviously, the BSA and the HW110, I think they've got 16 inch barrels, and I believe this is about a 19 inch barrel. So, I could bring one of the Ripley's down um, with a 19 inch barrel and see, compare the Wolverine to the Ripley. I might do that as well using the QISs. But um, my next video will be using the Streamlines, using the same three rifles out of 30 and 50. So guys, that's a wrap. Thank you once again for watching this short video on the QIS pellet testing. Um, I'll be back very soon with another video coming out next Sunday at half past six. Um, I'd like to thank Rich over at More Edges for, for um, providing the pellets for me to test. Once again, um, great bloke. Get yourself, get yourself down there, guys. Um, he really is a knowledgeable guy and knows a lot about rifles. And I'd also like to once again thank all the members over at Camelot for supporting us all um, throughout the flood from Storm Babbitt. It means a lot to us all. Um, thanks again guys for watching, see you next time.